Concerns that are addressed lead to a simple yet vibrant architectural solution. Spaces are inward looking towards the courtyards that occupy equal proportion of the building shell.
fact, Mr. Taylor, I think was uh, one of the, the kind of uh, model which you have created in the plan yeah. uh, to reach the function of the government. But at the same time, I think uh, 21st century education is, is pretty slightly different. So building the homes and all this is a little more flexibility which I could find. But when it comes to the environmental relationships, I don't know, you are very sensitive to that one. Uh, you have provided some kind of double warning. It's a, it's a good solution for that kind of challenge. Yes. So the only thing I would like to ask you, how are we empathizing with students or the users? So I think uh, there are a couple of things that uh, we've been working with, uh, we've done a couple of institutions in this small village in Gujarat and uh, this is the fourth such institution and uh, what we found is using, uh, so A, using colors, textures, materials that they identify with and uh, spaces that are comfortable, whether it's by way of uh, the environment you create by uh, the, the kind of spatial environment, something different from their homes. This is really a tiny village. And, and yet, I think something that's not outlandish to them, something that's not alien, something that's not been dropped from a completely different social or cultural environment, uh, the idea of this grid that we have also allows for uh, some amount of flexibility in terms of spaces being larger or smaller. The multi-purpose hall also is falls within the same grid. They have the flexibility to knock down walls or build them later, uh, have spaces that uh, could be larger or smaller used as laboratories or classrooms. Uh, so I think that extent of flexibility is there and uh, with there being a huge dearth in good educational institutions in small villages like this, um, there is also this endeavour to give them space to look forward to, to have students really want to come here and uh, so we found with the few that we've done that it's working and also kind of uh, emphasize the idea of the library where we have provided uh, facilities such that of course there are books and racks but they also have access to the internet, they also have access to uh, other medium of uh, information and access. So uh, it's something that is bridging the gap between being completely rural or having something completely urban locked on them and yeah that's what the end of us did.
is what most students come on. It's out here. The Pimpal Ecology Arts and Commerce College. So it's about a five minute drive away and therefore it is isolated. It is outside the main village area. Uh, there is a school which is right in the heart of it. The colleges that we design are outside. So it is isolated in that sense. It is a 10, 12 minute bicycle ride outside of the heart of the village. Right. I have one question. On uh, the fact that uh, you know we kind of inculcate mental health and physical health along with education, and uh, while we're providing all of these classrooms, we were uh, very clear that uh, the site should allow for a lot of outdoor and play areas, and uh, therefore we wanted to just bring in some vibrance on yoga and physical health. Thank you. Thank you.